Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Last week, Topaz Labs updated Gigapixel AI. Um, I wasn't even aware of this update, and I don't think they even really uh, advertised it at all. Uh, this is a free update if you already own Gigapixel AI, and this new update has one feature, one new feature, that I consider to be relatively significant. Gigapixel AI now will work as a full Lightroom plugin. In the past, it didn't do that. Now you could process an image in Lightroom, something like this. So I have this image, it's okay. But to, to be honest, in real life, I'd probably just crop this a little bit. I'd probably pull it in from the right-hand side so that the tree is coming in from the corner and you know, kind of give it a nice line, a diagonal line from the corner. But Let's just say that I wanted to crop it considerably more, and I go to something like this. So I have this crop now, but this crop is only 2,975 pixels by 1,982 pixels, which translates to around 6 megapixels. So if I want to print this, it's as though now it's a 6 megapixel camera, and um, according to the charts I looked at, I wouldn't really even good, get a good quality 8x10 out of this because I wouldn't be able to print it at 300 dpi. Uh, so um, this is where something like Gigapixel comes in. Gigapixel will let you upscale your image so that you could really ultimately get bigger and better prints with it. So I have this image. It's processed. It's cropped. And I want to, let's say for the sake of argument, I want to print a 16 by 24. Well, I need to upscale it. So I'm going to send it to Gigapixel. And now to do this in Lightroom, just right click right on the image, go down to Edit In, and then down to Topaz Gigapixel AI. Click on that. And I'm going to edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments with these settings. Now, if you do um, update your Gigapixel, and it's not showing up in Lightroom yet, uh, all you need to do is close down Lightroom, open up Gigapixel on its own as a standalone app, then close it down, then open up Lightroom, and it should load in Lightroom. It should be there in that edit in menu. If it's, not, if it's still not there, um, I do have a video that explains how to get plugins into Lightroom that aren't showing up, and I'll have that linked uh, in the description below this video. Now, uh, let's just bring it up here. And I mentioned that I want to print ultimately a 16 by 24 at around 300 DPI. And a 2x uh, upscale will do that because it will multiply the length by two and the um, width by two. And you could see that at two, I'll get a 5950 by 3924. And if I do the math in my head, uh, that's around a 24 megapixel image now. And when it's a 24 megapixel image, uh, I should be able to print a 16 by 24 at that higher DPI. And you could see that here's the original image on the left. Here's the upscaled image on the right. And you could see that there's no artifacting. There's nothing there. Now I do have, um, oh, I got to click update. Let me click update first. That was wrong. Let's just see if there's going to be ar uh, artifacting and so on. Um, I do have a video on how to use a Gigapixel AI, and I'll have that linked uh, in the description below this video as well if you haven't seen it. I go into great detail on how to use this application. Uh, so I'll let it generate its preview. It's a little bit slow on my iMac. I mentioned this many times over the last year or so uh, that this is a really old iMac. I need to update it. It's from 2013. All right, uh, there we go. Now look at, here's the original image. Look how blurry it is. Now here is the gigapixel image. Look how crisp and clean that is. Look, I mean, it just not only upscales it, it improves the quality of the uh, image itself. It sharpens it and everything. Look at that. So I'm going to click save and we'll take a look at it in Lightroom. Now it's going to process the entire image now. So every pixel will be processed and this will take a little while. So I'm going to fast forward the video and I'll see you in Lightroom. 
All right, we're back in Lightroom, and this is our upscaled image. You can see it's 5950 by 3964. There is our original image, which was 2975 by 1982. And as I go to the upscaled image, we'll zoom in, and you can see that there's a lot of great detail focused on this bird's eye. You can see how that is like perfectly in focus. There's no artifacts or anything like that. So even if I wanted to crop it in this tight, I think it would uh, probably make an adequate uh, five by seven uh, print or something like that because you could see it really did a nice job. So uh, that's uh, what I wanted to just mention is that this new uh, update to the Gigapixel AI allows you to use it as a Lightroom plugin. And I think um, Gigapixel AI is one of the best applications out there and it's one of my must-have applications. So uh, in the description below this video, again, I'll have links to those videos I've mentioned that I've done in the past um, about Gigapixel AI. Also, I have a discount code. If you don't already own it, you could save 15%, and I'll have that in the description below this video as well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.